Hello, I'm Brett Leiter, the design lead for Android Wear, and welcome to the Android Wear 2.0 Developer Preview Tour. Let's talk about Android Wear 2.0. So as always, Android Wear starts you out on the watch face. Here I've got a watch face that's very 1.0. It's beautiful, but it doesn't have a lot of information and action on it to help me with my day. So I'm going to swipe from left to right on the watch face, and what that does is zooms out on the watch face and actually helps me select my next watch face, Elements Analog. Elements Analog is a watch face that we built to demonstrate the capabilities of the Complications API. I've already customized it with a set of things that help me. So let's dig into this. Maybe I want to change one of these complications from uh, calories to uh, tracking how much water I've had to drink. So I just swipe left to right to zoom out a bit. I tap on the gear icon. I tap on the complications, the left one, and we've worked with LifeSum, a third-party partner, uh, to have them be a data provider for these two things. So I'm going to switch over to water uh, as the complication, and boom, I've just changed from calories to tracking how many glasses of water. And it looks like I'm a little behind on my water today. But I can it's just as easily launch Strava, check out what's going on in my calendar, or see what time it is in London. And each of these complications is interactive in that I can tap to get more details and launch into that app. Okay, let's keep going. Let's go over to this next watch face, Ranger by Zuhanden. And here, Ranger, which has a completely different aesthetic, but it's styling its complications uh, to match that aesthetic, yet it's using the data providers. So it's got uh, the time zone in Boston, where my family lives, it's also got the water tracker, and it's got the day of the month. So we really think that watch faces should own the presentation of their complications to make those complications fit in so nicely with the watch face. Okay, so I've got Ranger here. Let's see if, what else I might be interested in for a watch face. So at the end of the watch face favorites, I've got a list of all the watch faces that are available on the device. And I'll pick Elements Digital here. And now I've added that to my favorites, so I've got four. Mm, you know, I don't need this 1.0 style watch face anymore, so I'm going to get rid of it. So all I have to do is just swipe it up and it's gone. And now Elements Analog is my watch face. So now that we've uh, shown how to select and discard watch faces, let's go check out another core capability of Android Wear, which is how you get back. So here I might be deep in my list of possible watch faces, and I decide, you know, none of these quite resonate with me, so I want to go back. So all I have to do is hit the hardware button here, once to go back to the list of favorites, and then once more to go back to my default watch face. So hitting the hardware button on the side of the device is just how you get back, and it's super fast. So up next, let's take a look at what we call the quick settings shade. So all I have to do is pull down from the top edge of the watch face, and I've got all the controls that I might need to access in a hurry. Especially, I want to focus on brightness. So we heard uh, from users that brightness needed to be easier to access. And so here's that's what, that's what we've done. So all you have to do is tap up and down, and you get a live preview of the brightness right on top of your watch face. So now I'll hit the back button on the side of the watch once, and then a second time, and I'm back on the watch face. OK. Now that we've seen watch faces and quick settings, let's check out apps. So once I'm on the watch face and the screen is, is fully on, all I have to do is hit the hardware button on the side of the watch, and boom, that launches the app launcher. Let's try that again. So I'm on the watch face, and I just hit the hardware button on the side, and I'm into the app launcher. And so the app launcher, as you can tell, um, has this round specific layout for round watches, and it's also got a scroll bar on the side. So I can really quickly and easily, maybe even fling down to the app that I want. And once when I, I found that app, like Strava, I get zoomed into it. And so I can interact with Strava here, you know, go on a bike ride. And then when I'm done, I hit the hardware button and I go back out to the, to the app launcher right where I was before. And if I leave the app launcher, hit the hardware button to go back to the watch face. And of course, if I hit the hardware button again to go back into the app launcher, here's Strava right at the top of the app launcher. So the apps that I use the most are really easy to get to in the app launcher.
Okay, so let's go back out to the watch face. And now let's check out messaging. So uh, messaging is something we've spent a lot of time focusing on with Android Wear 2.0 to make it really, really good. So if my watch was in always on mode and I received a notification from a friend, that notification comes up over my watch face, always on mode, and shows for a few seconds before it goes away. Then when I wake my watch back up, that notification will come and visit my watch face for a few seconds and then go away. So it, it doesn't cover up my watch face, but I can see that I got a notification. So when I'm ready, I can scroll up and start interacting with that notification. So here, Crystal's sent me a notification uh, during my demo. Awesome. So yeah, I'll reply to Crystal here, and I think I'll end up using the keyboard because I want to be pretty expressive and specific, but you know, I'm already talking, so I can't really speak my reply. So I'm using my suggestions here, which I would say are indeed pretty good. And the demo seems to be going pretty good so far as well. So I just approve that and reply, and I can see that my message has been appended to our conversation, and my conversation's been, been persisted. And Crystal's already replied. Awesome. Well, I'm done with this conversation with Crystal for now. So I'll hit the back button, and I'll be taken back to the stream. And I can scroll down, and I say I've got a message from Alexandra, and I've got some activity from Google Fit. And as you can see, as I'm scrolling, I can see a scroll bar and thumbnail that lets me know exactly where I am in the stream and approximately how many notifications I have to deal with. Okay, so I'll hit the hardware button, go back up to the top at my watch face, and that concludes our tour. Thanks everyone. Let us know what you think about the developer preview of Android Wear 2.0.